Hello YouTube friends, I hope you are doing well. I'm doing well, it's my last day here in beautiful Switzerland and I'm heading off to Slovakia tonight to spend some family time with my partner's family, which is really cool. Quick little lesson before I go. Um, easily my most popular lessons on this channel are the Spanish guitar song lessons. I'm well aware of that. The reason I don't have every video be a Spanish guitar lesson is that uh, it might sound selfish, but I do this channel as much for myself as for anyone else. So this channel is uh, kind of me over the course of many years and hopefully a long lifetime putting whatever knowledge or whatever I think is important about the guitar I'm going to put into this channel and maybe one day or I think already some people have gained some benefit from it for but I always imagined one day some young kid just like I was will be looking for guitar information and I'm going to try and leave as much as I possibly can on this channel so that's why I don't just do popular stuff I do a whole bunch of different kinds of videos anything that has been important in my playing Maybe it will be important for someone in the future. But today, fun, we're doing one of the fun ones, Spanish guitar song style lesson. If you've ever seen my channel before, you'll understand that I'm not gonna give you something to play note for note. I'm gonna give you some concepts, some ideas, some broad uh, playing patterns, and then there should be infinite or near enough infinite combinations and possibilities and variations that you can now take what I show you and go off running and make your own music, which is what it's all about and what makes me really happy. So I'll play for a second and show you the kind of vibe and then I'll teach you how to make that vibe for yourself. So nice and slow, we're starting with the most flamenco of all chords, the big E chord, E major chord. Variation number one, you can bring your pinky into the third fret of the D string. Make it like a real Spanish, so that's an uh, open, second, third, that's the interesting note. First, zero, zero. Play with your fingernail or your play close to the bridge. You can rake. I have one slightly long fingernail for that purpose. And you can do it from the F. So already just on this introduction chord, there's heaps of stuff you can do. You can do like a... Um, and that wasn't me showing off that fast thing. There's lessons on this channel about how to do those trills. So you can do that. Go up to the F. Go up to the G if you want. So heaps of options and variety just in that big introduction. It's a real announcement. Here we are, we're gonna play some cool guitar. And then really what I'm doing is using what we call a pedal tone. A pedal tone being a note that you always come back to. In this case, the pedal tone is the open low E string, which is a nice deep dark note. And I'm basically playing an E uh, Phrygian dominant scale. So just to make it a bit more interesting or a bit more kind of uh, correct, I guess, we're going to start at the seventh fret because there's the open low E string and then the seventh fret of the A string is an E note. So that's our octave. I'm going to go up a little bit and I'm also going to go down a little bit. But when I'm playing this and I'm suggesting to you, although all my suggestions are kind of there to be broken, this is our like home note. This is our number one note. So a lot of my riffs will be based on that home note. So we're gonna go pedal. And now I'm gonna pretty much ignore, I'm not gonna say the pedal tone every single time because you understand we're gonna play it every time. Seven, eight, 11. Now you can go more, I'm going to leave it at that because these are beginner lessons and if you're advanced enough you can figure out the scale elsewhere, further up the string, further up the neck. So down, 14, 12, 11, 8, 7. Nice to do a trill. So let's just start with that. You can also go lower. I'll show you that a bit later, although the concept is the same. So. I like to keep it simple. In that case, I was going pedal, note, pedal, note, pedal, note. So that's cool. And you can play fast, you can do some really cool stuff with that. So I reckon that sounds pretty cool. But now I can go pedal, note, note. Another big E chord. 
So it's just a kind of like cool little concept. Um, you can do three. Pedal, one, two, three. Pedal, one, two, three. Pedal. So on and so forth. Um, so down the scale would be seven, five, three, two, zero. And you can incorporate that. So I'm like a pedal. I have other lessons about improvisation. If um, you're really stuck and you kind of really don't know how to improvise at its most basic form, you can think of improvisation as randomly playing notes, essentially. I've given you a collection of notes there, that's the scale. You can choose them at random. That doesn't sound quite musical, but at least it was an improvisation. And as you progress, you'll find groups of notes that you like. I love doing that going, so that's the root note, I love going from the note below it, to the note above it, and then to the root note, I love doing that, or backwards from the note above, note below, then the root, so you make your combinations of licks, remember, in between every lick or two, play those chords, it gets really fun and hopefully you're still with me even if you're not as long as you gained something from today's lesson and played something on your guitar that's a massive win for you and for me as a instructor go to the a minor chord a minor same thing everything's one string higher so open a and we'll use the same scale flat note in it back to the E to wrap it up nicely um, and give it a kind of closure I like to use the fifth chord B7 which starting on the A string is two one two zero two which brings our E back doing a B7 brings our E back to the E So I, I, I like to keep my lessons short and concise, a uh, little bite-sized piece of information. But I've actually just given you heaps of stuff there to go and play with. So you've got heaps of different ways of playing the E chord. You could do the E chord, move it up to the F chord, move it up to the G, add that flamenco style note. You can strum it, you can do it at the bridge. So lots of different ways to do a fairly basic chord and then practically unlimited melodic variations based around a pedal tone E string and a pedal tone A string gonna try and shut up now because I might just keep confusing you if I keep talking thank you for watching thank you for playing the guitar thank you for putting effort into the guitar let me know how you're going I read all the comments I'm starting to get overwhelmed with comments so forgive me if I don't reply to all of them I'm uh, really blown away with how much kind of traction this channel's gained really unintentionally so thank you for that forgive me if I don't answer every single comment but I am here I'm a real person I am reading I am practicing myself and I appreciate all of you very much. Good luck with your playing and let me know how you go. Thank you so much.